Transmembrane pressure is the hydrostatic pressure gradient between the blood and dialysate compartment that allows for ultrafiltration and convection to occur. For details on the process of convection, please reference back to the video on convection. Here is a cartoon of the hemodialysis filter. The highest positive pressure is seen at the arterial end of the blood compartment. The lowest positive pressure is seen at the venous end of the blood compartment. A negative pressure is seen in the dialysate compartment. This pressure gradient allows for movement of water across the membrane from the blood to the dialysate. This is how fluid is removed in a dialysis patient and is called ultrafiltration. Solute movement along with water allows for convective clearance. In the older dialysis machines, transmembrane pressure was manually calculated by the dialysis personnel based on goal ultrafiltration needs. In modern dialyzers, this pressure gradient is automatically calculated and generated by the dialysis machine based on volumetric control of ultrafiltration. The leakiness of the membrane to water depends on the size of the pores within the semipermeable membrane. The leakier the membrane, the higher its KUF, or coefficient of ultrafiltration, and lower the TMP required to attain a certain level of ultrafiltration.